The nation's potentials to root in the nest. Hail and rejoice for the noble ideas. I'm so good to the universe. Honoring me. I love the universe. I feel very I got five years more. And they still remember me. The little contribution I did, as right and fellow, I'm grateful. It's a wonderful homecoming, and I thank you, and I, in particular, the alumni of the university. <laughs> invite my head of department when I was undergraduate, my dean, sometime dean when I was an undergraduate, and uh, the seventh vice of the dust asked me about him, Professor Walter and Wenzo. He was my head of department and my dean sometime. And uh, again today, within the same period, I am receiving my own vice chancellor. Vice Chancellor that graduated me, Vice Chancellor that signed my certificate, and his amiable wife, my own teacher, and my own mentor. Of which we have gone round to oblige our members. When I was elected, I told you that my paramount um, agenda is to mobilize members of the alumni, alumni community to start individually or collectively to assist this university. And gradually, I want to present to you officially to the level of our today's activities. Lions and wellness. Mm -hmm. I want to say how delighted I am. My wife to be here in your midst and to be visiting the university. I've lived and served for many years, a long time ago, nearly about 30 years. I left office for 40 years ago. It's a great delight to be here in your room and to hear what your vital has said 
I will welcome I'm sure my wife joins me in thanking all of you, in particular the president of the Alumni Association, for conceiving, planning, and encouraging us to be here. I have told them that you will welcome us. You will come back and be debated greater than we have already experienced. Thank you very, very much. I want to give you some background to how I spent my time at this university, or what, how I came to be at the Spoka University of Nigeria. How I rose eventually to the Vice Chancellor to serve for the first time the two term of office and eventually to leave in certain circumstances. And now I'm being called back 30 or 40 years later to share time and memory with you. I will speak not too long, but I will be feeling in my own feelings if I don't outline some of the essential background events that brought me here. The starting point is the founder of the universe. Dr. Nandi Azikiwe is a highly respected person, a great man, a great mind. I came to know him for the first time in the 50s, 1950. He was then campaigning for Nigeria to become independent from the British. He has spent his time largely in the United States where he educated himself and matured enough to begin to wonder why Nigeria should be a colony of white people in Britain and he challenged that and initiated a fight to free Nigeria from colonial rule. That it was that period that I first had about this and actually was in the nineteen fifty two is the exact year when he was touring Nigeria, in particular, my, my, he came to my area, he came to my school in 1952, talked to students about his aim to free Nigeria from colonial rule. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! I have made, I must carry it shoulder run. And I called my this my committee of UNA Icon Founders Day celebration. I said, building this homecoming of Professor Sunderland to us. And by the way, our last year's uh, at our last year's uh, Christmas party, I insisted it must be celebrated with him. I was there like and I made promise to him that I will do a homecoming. And lo and behold, the homecoming is here. I'm so excited. Despite all the pressure from the family, considering himself and age, they said they don't want him to come. Daddy insisted that he wants to touch his foot here. Lo and behold, he is here. You will be surprised that the man participated in all the activities, even the court call. This morning I went to South. 
in his hotel room. I said, Daddy, no, the business office is off. He said, I am not incapacitated. I am not a dying horse. I must be part of that course. And he was part of the course. You see, he has stayed here. My joy knows no back. I thank God Almighty for giving me this opportunity to celebrate Professor Devil, to right the wrong that was done to him, and I'm happy he is leaving this environment tomorrow with a joyous heart. The children are watching from all over the world. His beliefs in physics, the children make contact with people and ensure that this thing is dreamed life. So you can see I'm excited. The color of my mama mother is radiating all over me. My members, my chairman, I think it's a joyful thing. Nigeria. A man, a very proactive 
very much proactive in introduction of many aspects that made the University of Nigeria to be what it is today. We thank you very much, Ms. Professor Indili, because you are very good support while you close at you. Thank you very much for that initiative. Despite the fact that I don't want to go back to the time of catastrophe, catastrophe in the sense of making what Nigeria is still lingering in the mind of some of us. I welcome you all to the University of Nigeria and to our Founders Day celebrations. Today is a day set aside for the celebration of our alumni and friends. Thus, first and foremost, I welcome the President, Dr. Doris Okoro, and the other national officers and members of the UNN Alumni Association who are in attendance at this year's Alumni Day celebration. I welcome most warmly the Chairman of the event, His Excellency Malam Dr. Ibrahim Shakarao, who holds an honorary doctorate degree of the University of Nigeria. Malam Shakarao is being represented by Alahaji Abdullahi Yunusa, a former member of the Governing Council of this university. I am happy that. Alaji Yunusa has sustained his interest in the affairs of the University of Nigeria long after the end of his uh, tenure as a member of the Council of the University of Nigeria. Let me also welcome the alumni, the lecturer, my own brother, Vice Chancellor, Professor Mwabi ABBC of 4 Iwe. The Vice Chancellor of Michael Opala University of Agriculture, Umudike, who is represented by another great lion in the person of Professor Udo Habat, the Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic of Michael Opala University, Umudike. Greetings from the Alumni Secretariat. As a 13th National Sur Global President of this noble association, Today is another special day in the history of the alumni movement as we celebrate the homecoming of our Emeritus Vice Chancellor, Professor Frank Ndele, during the 63rd Founders Day celebration in our great institution. Our Professor Emeritus, sir, we are not just celebrating, we were moved to celebrate you today because when we visited you, you talked to us with high emotions and all of us were touched. We thank you for insisting to be physically here present. May God sustain your life. You will live longer. Thank you for being physically here. We shall take a few minutes to do a projector review about Professor Ndele at UNN. Also, note that we are celebrating him today as human development uh, icon. And today, concise with his 89th birthday celebration, we were not aware of it. The university was not aware of it before they gave us today for our dignity of man lecture. So, it is the will of God that we are celebrating him as our human development icon and also being the first to celebrate your birthday, 89th birthday. Daddy, we honor you and cherish you daily for initiating and establishing this great alumni association. Please, a round of applause for him. This special event is also designed to celebrate and honor our icons. And these icons are those who have distinguished themselves in the alumni movement, career and profession, and also in their selfless service to humanity in accordance with our mantra, restore the dignity of man. I welcome you all once again to the den 
on behalf of alumni, national and global, global respectively. CFS, who is a proud alumnus of this prestigious University of Nigeria. He studied and obtained a bachelor's and a degree and PhD in food science and technology from the university. But he obtained his master's of science degree in food technology from the University of Ibadan. His doctoral research work took him to Netherlands through the funding of the World Bank and the National Universities Commission. And you see, Professor Uwe is currently the sixth vice chancellor of Michael Okwara University of Agriculture, Umudike, since March 1, 2021. It is an honor to be invited to the 20 to deliver the 2023 University of Nigeria Alumni Association Founders the lecture and be given the latitude to choose a title today. I will be speaking on the alumni and the Nigerian university system. Basically, I will highlight the concept of alumni, alumni association and its significance, and provide an overview of the Nigerian university system and the challenges facing it. I will then try to look at the synergy that should exist between the alumni association and their universities and suggest ways that alumni can help in ameliorating the challenges facing the Nigerian university system. The concept of alumni has been widely discussed by various writers. The idea of alumni has evolved from the original meaning of a child who receives from the foster parents at home to a child who receives intellectual care from scholars in school. It is now more acceptable to, to use the concept within the context of academic relationship between a former student and his or her alma mater. Starting from the 17th century, specifically in the year 1643, when the first gathering of Harvard alumni was held, up to 1823, when Brown University established the first alumni fund, alumni associations are widely known for giving back to their institutions, among the other roles that add enormous value to education. The Latin word alumnus means foster son and is expressed in the phrase to nourish. It is also said to derive from the word alert which means to bring up, to nourish. In Latin literature, the term alumnus was often used to indicate someone nourished by a person who is not the natural parent, while in Roman literature it usually refers to abandoned children who were often sheltered and raised by foster parents. It also appears in the Roman law to describe a child placed in fosterage as, as Encounter Magazine 2015 said it. The late Yale historian John Boswell notes that the word alumnus is nowhere defined in relation to status, privilege, or obligation. He cited research of Henry Leclerc, who studied many inscriptions of alumni and concluded that it referred to exposed children who were taken into a household where they were regarded as somewhere between a, an heir or a slave. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
I want to say that this is the time we have been waiting for, for Professor Ndele. We have looked at his life from his student years as a career physicist, a nuclear physicist, a vice chancellor here, and we are doing his homecoming. And we said he would be part of our, our icon. He is also the chairman of our reconciliation committee. He accepted to do that job. <laughs> Lions and lionesses. And the award of icon we are giving him is Human Development Icon. And we know he has developed so many people, including our vice chancellor. the vice chancellor. It is an honor and privilege to request you as the incumbent vice chancellor and the vice first lion vice chancellor of our great university to present this award on our behalf. Thank you, sir. Thank you, madam. Global president of Alumni Association. I was told before I say something about the about the plaque. I was touched when I read the, uh, you know, the descriptions on the cake for the ceremony. The first one bears, you know, it's a replica of a book on nuclear physics. And the other one is on particle physics. And uh, of course, completed by saying happy, happy 89th birthday prof. The other ones, are, you know, for the alumni association, I'm sure you, you, it was a very good time when it was, uh, for you members of the alumni, when it was divided. I am uh, um, privileged to, again, to present this award, mandated me to do so by the Alumni Association of the University of Nigeria and Saka. And the plaque is on Human Development Icon Award. And I have to present it to Professor Frank on behalf of University of Nigeria Alumni Association, you now in appreciation for distinguishing yourself in your choosing career and impacting on humanity, thereby restoring the dignity of man. And it is presented this sixth day of our Lord, October. 2023. And I present this to you, sir. University of Nigeria Alumni Association present this distinguished erudite alumni, sorry, alumnus award to Professor Madre BBC of Fort Ewe. CFS, in recognition of his academic excellence and appreciation as the 23rd Dignity of Man Lecturer for the 63rd UNM Father's Day celebration of the University of Nigeria. Congratulations. Sir. This icon award is for Professor Joseph I. Kechena on behalf of the University of Nigeria Alumni Association and appreciation for distinguishing yourself in your chosen career and impacting on humanity. Thereby restoring the dignity of man today, the 26th of October. For your health innovation administration, we present this award to you. Congratulations. <laughs>
So, if I have to propose something, the means that he may be find it, you know, what he had said, could not find it in order to, to agree with me. Because if two of us have agreed on something, on a solution, it means that um, there's something that is something that should be looked into. So I want to thank the guest lecturer for making this job easier for me. This has to be about where the alumni, you know, uh, the alumni have in the past impacted positively on the university community. So it's not like we've not been doing anything. The Children's Center, the Wood Court in Enu Campus, several sets of computers that were quiet, the two-story building in front of business administration, and the edifice built by the Central Bank of Nigeria through during the Middle East the Government of the Central Bank. Several structures by individuals, groups and families. The rehabilitation of the stadium, the in-library, and donation of containers of books. Some state governments and organizations have also been attracted by our alumni to assist in the development of the university. Money has also been donated by several individuals and groups for the AMAC projects in the university. This list is by no means an exhaustive one. I thank us for coming. It has been a very successful event for the singular fact that Professor Frank Wachukundere was here and we celebrated his birthday. It's enough for this event. And what can I say? I thank everyone, every lion, every lion and lioness for supporting the organizing committee to achieve what you have achieved today. I want to say the music department that you people have been awesome since last night. And in the capacity of our global president and me, oh, we give you people a token of 50,000 So I bid everyone farewell back home. I know that God who granted us Johnny Mercy to the den who take us back home safely in Jesus' name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You can see from my face, a smiling face, a smiling face, honoring his teacher, his mentor, uh, my English teacher, my vice salon. I mean, you can see it all from my face. It is about expression and satisfaction. In fact, the, the occasion is so enticing, so good, excelling. Why? Because it is today, just a day of the national or rather international teachers' day. We combine the activities with the input day, Founders Day. So you found that nobody can deny the fact that University of Nigeria Isuka is still leading ahead of contemporaries. Why? Because go around all the universities in the country, you hardly get a university that is committed towards the event of Founders Day. And in addition to that, added to the day of alumni, but 
all the concerned products of the University of Nigeria have gathered today to see after interaction with the colleagues, after sharing the ideas of the previous leaders, how they made the university, how they made the university to be what it is now. So you find that those of us who had been here as council members for a good four years, surely we have the feeling that this university had gone far ahead of others. The, the, the leader of education, Malay Brian Shekharov, who had served as national president of all the principals of secondary school. You know, it's not a poor representation. It's a representation of those that who really care to come and do something in order to promote the standards of education in the country. So you find that it's a pride, you know, it's a really serious pride to represent Malay like Brian Shekharov at this very particular, particular education. I feel very delighted to be here today. I feel very honored to be here today. I feel very delighted and delighted and fulfilled somehow uh, because uh, this is taught founders the celebration happens to be different. You can see from what happened. It's different because my committee through the uh, national and global president was able to reconcile Professor Frank from what you in the list with the school management, with the University of Nigeria. And that is what makes a great, wonderful occasion because Professor Frank is going to accept to be registered with the school feet on the land of Isoka. You need to know the story, the history behind Professor Frank Henry and how he left UNN and at his 89th birthday, God is okay. I can only give it to God because everything happens the way God's time plans it to be. Because he, Professor Frank Henry, coming to suspect founders day and he happened to be the seventh VC of UNM and happened to be there are so many things Frank Indre represents and today is eight nine thirteen. I believe if God will live two years, he will live another ten years. Because he has made this with what he said is so much, the alma mater he said so much, and the children are happy and all of us who are building on his legacy because he stated that he's building on the legacy of Nina Daziki who is the person that found the of Nigeria and we are continuing that legacy to restore the dignity of man. So I am fulfilled that I am the chairman that God used to do such a consolation. It's not by my power but his grace. God gives grace to us who he chooses to give grace to. That is the only thing I have to do. The most wonderful part of it because the candidate of, of our seventh vice chancellor is wonderful. I want to assure you, he's coming along. Mark a wonderful 2023 alumni found this team. I highly appreciate what the alumni has done, especially our national president and global president in the past. She has done wonderful things by bringing him back home, and I believe he and his family have appreciated what has happened. It's not a job. Somebody who has served in the eight years, the current DC, the 13th vice chancellor of the university, and this man that we brought him back to the den is our servants virtually. Even the current VC happens to be his student. So I believe, I, I, you see, I, I don't have any words to, you see, express my happiness for what has happened on this uh, 2023 Founders uh, Day celebration. To appreciate the chairman of this committee and his members for the sacrifices, I cannot thank them enough. Without them, 
we cannot do it. I can't do it alone. He said that one person cannot execute. I want to appreciate the Professor Dele and his family. I want to appreciate the university and all lions and lawyers, including the CEO of Africa. People have done marvelous.